How do you read this word that meant cuff? Um, what was it? Sol Gucci? Well, Sol de. Sol de, sol de gu Gucci. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Sol de Gucci. Uh, sol de Gucci ni button ga is sweet. Sweet de iru. Hi. Sweet de iru means attach. Attaching to the button is attached to the cuff. Yes. So in the... English, we use the past tense of this word. In Japanese, you'd use the present participle tense of the word. So tsuiteru would be translated as attached. So that's one of those don't directly translate words in um, English. So a button is attached to what? The button is attached to the cuff. Perfect. Nice. The sleeve cuff. Hi. Do you know what katate means? Kata. One hand. Hi, katate. one hand. Perfect. Katate. So katate. it ended with te. What did it start with? It ended with te. It start with uh, kata. Hi, kata. Now you got to remember this. Kata. Kata. Can you read this word for me? It's a new one. Um, kataho. Perfect. Kataho. So kataho comes from ho, which means direction. So kataho means one direction or one side. One Katate, direction. Kataho. Isn't that the same kanji for a one-way flight or one-way ticket? So I don't know what one-way ticket it would be, but I would assume it would be in there. Um, Hoko, for example, is direction, has that. Uh, so ho in general just means a direction. So if you're talking about a flight, there would be a direction there. So I it would make logical sense why that would be in there, but I don't actually know what one-way flight is on top of my head. Um, it started Hi. with kata. What did it end with? Kata ho. Hi, kataho. Nice. Can you read this um line for me? Yes. Um Sode Gucci no kataho ni nanika ga suite iru. On one side. Something is attached to one side of this of the cuff. Perfect. Nice. And our next, now we have a new verb, which is nui tukeru. This is to be sewed on. So nu, it's a sew, and tukeru is to be attached. So to be sewn attached to something. Something is sewn on. Nui tukeru. So I'm actually going to make you remember this nui. It has this kanji in here, which is ito, which means thread. Nui tukeru. Nui together and it means to attach. Yes. Uh, nui. Yes. Um. So together on its own is to attach. So it's a very specific kind of attaching. Was it attached with glue? Do you have any idea how something might have been attached if we're using nui together? So it's stitch on. It's Hi. sewn onto. Exactly. That's what nui together is. To be attached via sewing. So let's go read the line from the book. Something was sewn to one side of the cuff. Hi. Something was sewn on one side of the cuff. So our next word is nuno. Nuno is cloth. Like a patch. For example, no, no. Hi. It's a you happen to know? You happen to know this kanji? Ah, uh, oi, ah, uh, oi. Yep, aoi, ao. Uh, this is blue. So let's go read this line from the book. Hi. Um, rope ni aoi nu. Nunoga 
nuit suit te ata. A blue piece of patch was sewn onto the robe. Hi. A blue cloth was slow, sewn onto the robe. Perfect. Okay. Our next word is shishu. This is embroidery. Shishu. Hi. Shishu. Hi. Can you read this for me? Hi. Uh, rope no kataho no so de guchi ni nanika ga shishu shita. Embroid something was embroidered. Yeah, something was embroidered into what? The cuff, the sode guchi, the cuff of one side of the robe. Perfect. Do you know what this guy's pronounced that? It meant cloth or patch, perhaps, in this context. Nuno. Hi, nuno. nuno. Perfect. And this word right here, ito, I've mentioned to, to you a couple of times. This is our first time actually seeing it. Do you know what ito is? Ito is a uh, thread. Yep, ito, thread. So now you also have to remember this kanji, ito. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Aoi ito de shishu shita nuno ga nuite atta. A a blue threaded embroidered a piece of cloth that was embroidered with blue threads was attached to something. We don't know what. <laughs> so a cloth okay. that was embroidered with blue thread was sewn on to something. What? Not mentioned in that sentence. Do you happen to know what suna means? Suna, suna are small rocks or sand. Good right? guess. It is sand. Yes, sand. I, I guess it could be used for small rocks then. Just like in English. Um, do you know what a toke is? Toke is a clock. Hi, a clock. So this word right here, suna doke. So the to becomes a do. What kind of clock is a suna doke? Do you have any guesses? A suna doke. Our sand, an hourglass. Exactly. An hourglass is a sunadoke. It's a clock that counts using sand. Sunadoke. Sunadoke. Hi. So let's go read this line from the book. Sunadoke. Akai ito de sunadoke o shishu shita nuno. A piece of cloth that was embroidered with the um, with the hourglass. Yeah. So of... this is what is embroidered. So it's embroidered. Basically, you're embroidering in the shape of an hour, um, hourglass. Red threaded hourglass was embroidered on the cloth perfect or the cloth that was embroidered with, with the red yep. hourglass what, did, what how do you say clock in japanese toke hi toke to. um do you have to know what a tsubasa is a tsubasa are wings so wings tsubasa. tsubasa um how do you read this in this context ends with k starts with suna and with ke, suna to ke. So it's not to, it's do, suna do ke. So there's ren daku here. So to ke on its own and do ke when it's married to suna. Do, do Hi. ke, do. So let's go read this line. Subasa no aru suna to ke.
What do you think this means? Uh, red wings. Uh, red's not in red. here. I'm sorry. Um, tsubasa no aru tsunatoke. The hourglass with wings. Or exactly. the winged, winged yep. hourglass. Yep. An hourglass that has wings. Perfect. Right. Okay. So our next word is sayu. Sayu in this context is on both sides, basically. It basically means on the left and on the right, which is the opposite of what I drew. So left, right. Sayu on both sides. Yep. Um, let's start about sunado. What does it end with? Sunatoke. Sunatoke. Perfect. Okay, can you read this for me? So, was it ni sayu sayu ni sunatoke aru subasa? Hi. On both sides of the hourglass are hmm. wings. It's wings opposite. On so on both sides of the wings are hourglasses in, in this context. Uh, I, I, I should have had no here. So to take no aru. I made it too big. Um, hourglass on both sides of the wings. Yep. Okay. So let's go read the line from the book then. はい。うん。ロプの。あ、片方の。それ口には。左右に翼のある。砂とどけ。砂どけを青い糸で刺繍した。At the cuff on both side of the robe. Uh, one side of the robe. On one side of the robe. Um, there, there is a wing on the left and on the right. On both sides, there are wings. Yep. Um, the clock I don't know to go okay the out the sand glass the hourglass on both side of the wings so right here it says on the hourglass on both sides wings exist so that's the exact opposite as the pre as the sentence over here which is on both sides of the wings, hourglasses exist. See, I moved it I, around. Let's, let me read it again. Okay, so, sayu ni tsubasa no aru. There are wings. There are wings. And on both sides of the hourglass. Yes. Sunat doke. O aoi ito de with blue threads. Sishushita embroidered onto them. Onto what? Uh, the cloth. Hi. And where is this uh, cloth? And it's stitched on the Nuisukete Ata. It was stitched on the cloth, right? So the cloth is stitched onto something else, but on the cloth, we do have an embroidered symbol on it. The embroidered symbol on the cloth is embroidered with blue thread and is an hourglass with two wings on it, one on both sides. But where Hi. is this cloth sewed onto? It's sewn onto the sode Gucci Niwa. So in other At words, Yep. On one of the cuffs of the robe, we have a cloth that is sewed onto it. On this cloth, it is, has an embroidered uh, blue sand uh, thing. Sand cloth. <laughs> so the cuff of the robe referring to the where where the sleeves are, right, Mani? 
Yes. It's not on the wings of the rope or anything. It's specifically on the where where his hands are. Right. So yep, this right here, all of this area is a um solde. Solde is sleeve in general. So the Gucci is the mouth of the sleeve. So the mouth of the sleeve would be that area. So we're taking the sleeve and we're shortening the area we're looking at. So rather than just sleeve, we're talking about the mouth of the sleeve. So in English, that would be the cuffs of the sleeve. And he has an hourglass with wings Hi. of cloth bitten cloth. at that location. Yeah. Okay, so let's go read this line from the book. Karada was ara arata no ka. Hi. Did you wash? Did, did, did you wash yourself? Yes, you washed your body, did ya? Did you wash your body? Hmm. Yeah. Um. Do you know how this guy's pronounced? Yoko. Perfect. How about this guy? Uh, Asa Meshi. Perfect. And this guy? Sore Gucci. Perfect. And this one? This one is Suna Doke. Perfect. Suna Doke. So our next verb is Nagameru. This is to gaze at something. Nagameru. It no, is no, a no. do verb. What? It is not a do verb. Okay. Yeah. It ow. Can you read um the sentence for me? Ore wa ma do seki o nagame nagata. I did not gaze at the magical stone. Perfect. Can you read the next sentence? Ore wa ma do. Majutsu shio nagameta. I gaze at the magician. Perfect. So this sentence right here is a way to combine those two sentences together using dewa naku. Can you read this for me? Ore wa madoseki dewa naku. Majutsu shio nagameta. I gaze. At the magician, but I did not gaze at the magical stone. Perfect. So that's what dewanaka means. It basically says, I, I, I did not do the verb to this thing, but I did do it to something else. Um, you might say without or something. I don't know how to really make that a nice sentence. Anyway, let's go read this line from the book. Ore wa neburi de wa naku. Without neburi, teburu o nagame nagara. I nagara while I stare at the while I gaze at the table. And not na, neburi. That's how we could say. It. Not, while I gaze at the table and not neburi. I mane. He say, well, uh, to kata o tsukumeta. 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 Do you know what kata means? Shoulder. Hi. So what do you think so, he's doing with his shoulders? He shrugged his shoulder as to reply, oh, I don't know or something. Basically. He, he yep. Like, well, I don't know. My. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, he didn't actually it... say this, but he expressed that by sh um, shrugging. So, perfect. Mane is sort of like Mane. not a no, not a yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Okay. So, let's go read our next line from the book. Atsu, atsu no mafuin, mafuin to bacon. Muff, uh, bacon muffin, bacon and muffin. Atsu atsu no. Um, something sprinkle. Sprinkle. Uh, uh, atsu, atsu atsu. 
um, has two possible meanings. In this context, it's probably atu atu as in piping hot. It's 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 hot. It's steaming hot. Yes. Hi. Atu atu steaming hot muffin and bacon, or otomi ru otomi ru o ocha ga da te iru oatmeal omiru. To ocha ga dete iru. There. So here's the appearance, appearance might be a better word for dete iru than last one, which was the okay. exit. So he's saying there's, um, there are, right? Yes. Instead of saying iru, he say dete iru, meaning like it's, it's appear into his vision when he. Yes, when, when he, he looked down, at the table. They look at its appearance in front of him. So, so. Um, oatmeal, tea, bacon, steaming hot muffin. Perfect. Okay. Do you happen to know this kanji? The kanji is yameru. Good. Hmm. Might be yameru. That is, is I think I think Yamadu has a different kanji. I gotta double check. Yeah, Yamadu has a different kanji. So it's Tomedu in this context. Yamadu is this one. I should have just typed it up there. Yeah, so this is to they're basically the same. They both mean to stop something. Yamadu, Tomedu. Uh, to stop. Okay, so let's go read this line from the book. Machutsushi wa. Dorobo o tometa. The the magician stopped the thief. Perfect. Oh, ow. How do you put tsukamu, which is to grab into passive form? Hmm. Stop. To grab in the passive form. Hi. We say passive. Re. Re. So, sukamareru. Sukamareru. Perfect. Sukamareru. That is to be grabbed. Perfect. Nice. To be grabbed. Hi. Sukamareru. So, let's go read the sentence. Ehe ni dorobo no u ue o ude o sukamareta. Hi. Um, the thieves' arms was grabbed by the soldier. Perfect. What is the potential form of tomeru, which is a do verb? The potential form is to be able to. And it's also reru. It's also reru. So it's also tomere. Tomereru. Good guess. It's actually that's the da here. Tomereru. Tomereru. So Hi. is this an uber or a ru verb? This is a ru verb. So in this context with potential verbs, it's do. Oh, sorry, it's um, it's da de do for potential. Um, just so you know, for do verbs specifically, potential form. And passive form are the same. There is no actual difference. So tomerareru can be potential or passive form depending on context. This is only true for do verbs. So u verbs, they will look oh. different. Hi. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo wa nusumu koto o. Hi. Negative potential. So Hi. the thief cannot stop his stealing. Perfect. His activity. The act of stealing. Nice. And um, I think we're going to stop here. But do you know what the volitional form of suwaru is? Which is to sit? Suwaru. Volitional, so suwaro. 
Perfect. Suwado. That is where we're going to stop because the next one is grammar. And so I don't feel like we have enough time to do uh, the grammar page. So yeah, um, any questions before we go? No questions.